Hi everyone, Josh Hickman here with this week's Tip Tuesday. This week I want to revisit a topic that we've previously discussed, and that is the importing of CLBE files into PA10. The reason I want to talk about it this week is because as part of the 2024 Capture the Flag event, we are providing the CLBE files for each of the extractions that players are going to be using during the competition. To import them, we simply click the import button here at the top of the cases screen in PA10, and we point PA where the CLB file is. In this case, we're going to use Felix. He's one of our characters this year. And we import. PA is going to ask us where the UFD file is for the extraction. In this case, we have it. So just navigating back out to Felix's UFD. PA is going to look at it for a second and say, OK, I believe this is correct. And now as a user, I'm going to click import. It's going to take it a minute or two to import the case data. And when it's finished, I get the green toast notification down here in the bottom, and I have a new case here in the case list, and it's got imported in parentheses. This just lets me know that this is a case that's been imported by way of CLBE. Now you may be asking yourself, what are the applications here? Well, CLBEs actually have a couple of applications that I can think of. One, it allows examiners to quickly share parsed and decoded data amongst themselves without having to generate a UFDR or some other report format. And there's also a archiving component. If I want to archive off decoded and parsed data along with my tags, I can easily do that with the CLBE files. Hopefully you found this helpful and we hope that you enjoy this year's CTF. If you like what you heard here, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more Tip Tuesdays. Thanks. Want more? Subscribe.